What's up, toy lovers, toy haters? It's another episode of Shock and Awe Toy Reviews. Two idiots, one camera, and a review. I'm Wilson. I'm Berg. And what are we reviewing, Mr. Berg? We are reviewing DC Icons Series 2 Blue Beetle. This is the box, blah, blah, blah. We don't care about the box. This is the toy that we're reviewing. It's Blue Beetle. Jaime Reyes. Uh, I don't know anything about Blue Beetle, quite honestly. And I'm the idiot that brought the toy. Um, why did I buy him? Because... I've been enjoying the DC Icon toys so far, uh, mostly aside from a few stories that we can get to later on in this review. Some people find them quite hilarious. <laughs> um, Some people can point. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, I thought he was, I just thought he looked cool. He's the one I probably know the most about. Uh, he's got a cool suit of armor. The and... least about. No, Jaime Reyes? Yeah. Oh, the Blue Beetles. Of, of the Blue Beetles. Oh, the Blue yeah. Beetles, yeah. Yeah, he's the one I know the most about. Uh, and that he can, like, change his armor into, like, cool guns and stuff. I remember seeing him on, on the Brave and the Bold and stuff like that. So, uh, he's cool. He's cool looking. He's thin. Um, I enjoyed him. Uh, we can go into it more later. Uh, but right now, we're going to run through some articulation for you kids. So he has the, the exact same articulation... With uh, he doesn't have boot swivels like the guys with boot swivels does. He does have his wings, which are movable, and you can put them anywhere you want. And uh, but yeah, he's got the neck, shoulders, elbows, wrists, uh, and he might have a wrist swivel or a forearm swivel that the other ones don't have. They all have the same basic articulation. Correct. Uh, with, the combination of which is various, I guess. Yeah, they have yeah. a few different, like, there's only 20 points of articulation or whatever it is. <clears throat> but, you know, he's got triple joint knees. Uh, and his wings to move. He has a fantastic sculpt, like all these guys do. Great, great sculpting. I, I totally give it to DC. Uh, formerly DC Direct in their sculpting department. Looks spot on. Looks amazing. And there is no parts for use, again, not that there would be very much with this guy. Uh, looks phenomenal. Yeah, that's awesome. The paint on him is great, looks phenomenal. Uh, his guns, his accessories look great. Just a really, really well sculpted and painted figure. Pretty much like every DC Direct figure uh, has been. Really, really nice stuff. Um, does not have thigh swivels. We know how disappointed you are. We don't need to go through that. Yeah. Uh, we'll run through the accessories. Oh, there goes his wing. Look at there, that. There is one of them. Yeah. This. So he comes with, uh, you know, he get his hands, and he comes with two wings that, two wings. They're removable, and he comes with two different guns. Two different guns uh, to put the guns on, obviously. You pop his little wrist that, That's off. why he has the forearm swivel. Yeah, all right. Just like a Green Lantern has Green Lantern it, yeah. has, yes. Um, and then you can pop him on and pew, 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 like that. Uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, this one, I think, works better and looks better than this one. This one looks like a Mega Man gun. Yeah, it does. But although I think this may be like sort of his classic look one this is one i remember seeing this one the most ted court's my blue beetle so i don't know anything about of course this what's wrong with ted court nothing i don't know didn't he get shot in the face i don't know probably yeah he got uh, shot in the face during uh infinite crisis yeah. right master yeah. lord yeah yep good times yeah come uh so yeah and um th yeah it looks it all it all works well it looks good my only Concern is with the wings, um, and it can lead into one of my stories. Is uh, I'm concerned these pegs will break. Uh, I've unfortunately had a couple of these toys, and by a couple I mean one, two, three now break on me. Three um, out of five. Out of five that I fought, yeah, uh, break. So uh, you know, I, I would suggest when pegging them into here. Uh, be, be, yeah, I know, but when pegging them into these holes, now don't push them in too far, because when pulling them out, they're pretty firm plastic. I wouldn't be surprised if they snapped. Um, 
Would you like to do some th- size comparisons? Yeah. Why don't we do that right now? Here's Black Adam, his w- wave mate. Who? <clears throat> we'll get to his story. As you can see, he, he, he's missing he, a he's foot. He's in scale, though. He is in scale, I guess. Six yeah, inches. Cause, well, Black Adam should be taller than Blue Beetle. Don't you say you don't care. That's how he's drawn. Mm-hmm. He should be. He's a little kid. This is a grown-ass f- man. Mm-hmm. Okay. Fair enough. <clears throat> uh, and just for sh- and giggles, here he is next to Chew Toy Iron Man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, much, much smaller. Probably at least a head, head and a half shorter. Uh, here's next to a DC, former DC Direct Toys. Jesus. Uh, New 52 Christ. Orion. Uh, he's in the their old scale of s- roughly seven inches, not the six inch one. And he should be taller and bulkier, but this is ridiculous. But that is, <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ Almighty! That's like. But he sucks because he doesn't have the articulation that guy has. I'd like to see that sitcom. And here he <laughs> is next to Marvel Legends Vision. Looks pretty good actually, since you would think the Vision would be taller. But, theoretically, these are the same scale, size, not even, you know, still a head taller. Here he is next to stand-in of Bruce Banner, <laughs> the chameleon, who would be a normal-sized figure, normal human So size. all these guys we've seen have been six-inch scale. Yes. That's what you'd say. Yes. Okay. Uh, this so is they a... should all look good, sorry, but they should all look good next to Blue Eagle. Yeah, and, and he looks pretty good next to him because he should be a young, skinny kid. Uh-huh. Teen, late teens, early 20s. Uh, so he looks good. Uh, and just because I like making him look small, he is next to Marvel Legends Rhino, <laughs> who can't even fit on the screen. <laughs> that's, like a, that's like a horrible prison move. <laughs> it's Rhino meets Blue Beetle. Uh, so there are some size comparisons. Uh, for for the character, he looks great. Uh, and with his other wave mates, looks phenomenal. Really good, good, good scale. Um, would you would you like to tell some stories? I'd I, mm, I'd Here. say I'd love to. <laughs> let, let, let's let's start with one story. Let's bring back Black Adam. So you, whoops. Yeah. Shock and awe trademark. <laughs> so, oh. hey, calm down. So you may notice when we brought Black Adam up that he wasn't allowed to stand on his own, and that's because he has DC's superior line of breaking toys. Yeah, so I was psyched, man, when I got uh, Mr. Miracle, man, yeah. and um, Dead Man. I thought the quality was really good, and I was, I was really, I really believed that DC was breaking their old trend of, from what I had heard poor from... Poor quality control. Poor quality control, from what I heard from, like, in-the-know toy guys. <clears throat> A ton of their previous waves, namely the Batman animated figures, just broke right in the box or out of the box. Terrible, terrible. Well, even stuff like their, uh, like their Thrasher suit Batman dude broke. I had break. Who else did I have break? Uh, the 75th anniversary Batman, one of those guys. I moved his arm once and it broke off. And so what do I do? I tweet, uh, DC collectibles and say, uh, with a picture and say, Hey, look, I moved your toy once and the arm broke off. And what is their response? I sh- you not. Their response is, oh, put it in the freezer. That helps. Yeah, it does. Put it in the f- freezer? Are you kidding me? You're telling me I need to put, if I need to put your f- toys in my fridge or my freezer so they don't break, there's a god problem. Like, I shouldn't have to, this is not food. This is not a consumable. All right, like a kid should be able to take his toy out of the packaging and be able to play with it and move it and have it not break and not have to be like, hey, mom, 
Let's put this in the... Ma, I'm going to be wanting to play with this in an hour, but stick it in the fridge with the chicken nuggets. All right. L- little note, little learning. This is not a child's toy. This is a adult collectible. And that's my point. All it right? says so on the box. But that's what I'm getting... But that's what I'm getting to is... But you don't, you don't see that with Marvel Legends, though. Not as much and not anymore. Right. And that's my problem is Marvel, Marvel Legends and stuff... They're making these. These are made to be played with, right? We, we, is that's what we say at every at the beginning of every episode. Is we're here. We're we're here to play with toys, right? We're here to move them around and play with them. Therefore, they should be able to do what we expect. This what we expect them to do. This is a specialty store product. This you can and find that, well, anywhere. That's, but no, they sell these things in fucking like Toys R Us and stuff, dude. They do. But they don't sell them everywhere. But it does. It doesn't matter, Rick. They're they're made. They're a toy, right? They're marketed as a toy. They're marketed as a collectible. No, they're marketed as a f- toy. No, they're and marketed as a collectible. I disagree, and that's the problem. Is DC is making these things for grown children like us, in hopes that they'll just sit on a f- shelf and not do what they're supposed to. Yeah. If, that, if that's the case, then give me a f-ing statue. I don't want a statue. I want something that'll do what it's supposed to do, out of the box. And if you're telling me that the thing is supposed, the thing's foot is supposed to move, and I, I shit you not, this is what happened. We haven't even said what happened. Is all I did was t- once I got him, I was playing with him and moving him. I moved his foot once, and it snapped off. It snapped off once the first move. I could not f-ing believe it. So, clearly their quality hasn't gotten any better. And then before that, there was Green Lantern and his armor. And so, the Green Lantern, if you don't know, has uh, armor that you click all snap around his body. Snap on armor. One of the little pegs, when snapping it on, so tight, snapped off. And so, now it, it still kind of clicks together, but not as well. It's like, give me a f-ing break. And now uh, I have the Flash, his... His ears are kind of rubbery, so they ripped because I was playing with them with my kid. If the thing can't hold up to what it's They're expected not to made do, for kids, then why the f are they advertising it as a toy? All right, I'm it. They're, they're advertised as adult collectibles. Bullshit. You watch Get the Flash. The... You watch the Flash TV show, and you see them walk running around with Barry with the actual Barry Allen Flash. DC collectible toys, kids buying them for Christmas and shit like that, and then saying, oh, look, the Flash toys. They're toys. You know it. I know it. Don't lie to yourself, and don't lie to the poor people out here. Just read the box that you don't like. Go on. What are your final thoughts? Where's his other hand? I broke. <laughs> it broke. All right? I moved it, and it broke. 20 seconds before the review. Right before this f***ing review. This hand broke. <laughs> f*** you too, Rick. Um. <laughs> I give, I give Blue Beetle one hammer. <laughs> Are you serious? He is, he is, he broke in front of my eyes. <laughs> he is the floppiest, he's got his... He's got a lot more floppiness than the other guys. The Mattel version that came out is a thousand times better. I cannot, and especially after hearing how all the other ones break, three out of five. I'm still looking for a toy. You said one. Right. But doesn't, but, I don't see adult, three, col- I don't see adult three, collectible. Three out of five, yeah. Keep, I, I don't see anywhere on here where it says adult collectible. Where does it say toy? Fine, then both our arguments are invalid, you dead. <laughs> I give three out of five of them broke. Okay. So that knocks his score down to one. To I'm, one hammer? I'm done. You're done? These, I, I can't, after the first one, I yeah. didn't, yeah, I'm so glad I didn't buy these. Yeah. They're, I'm, I'm getting to no, that No, 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 thigh articulation. <laughs> Check this out. Check this out. Crap your one. Thigh articulation. Yeah. So I do like this guy a lot. I think out of the guys, 
I do enjoy him. I mean, aside from the breakage and all the other bullshit that comes with You're him. You're terrified to move him. I'm getting to that. Would you let me? Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Calm. I can't do these anymore, I don't think, with you. I've just come to that realization. I'm kidding. <clears throat> this, These plastic parts right here on his suit are extremely... Uh, uh, loose, flimsy. soft plas plastic, flimsy, and these are extremely hard. So based on the quality, I mean, normally I wouldn't worry that much. Maybe with the looser ones, I'd still be afraid they'd rip. Uh, but these, I'm afraid, are sn will snap. Uh, but still, I think out of all the guys, he still poses the best, even without your <laughs> uh, He's got the same articulation. But just for some reason, he seems to work the best. I don't know if it's because he's skinnier, but like his upper torso movement is definitely top of the line like I like him out of all the guys I like him the best out of all the ones that I have that's fair um and yeah I don't know I just I dig him the most so I'm gonna have to you know QC issues aside I'm still gonna give the toy the toy a four four out of five hammers get the f <laughs> yeah. yeah, seriously. You broke! Yeah, right. This, to this. He broke. Did you not hear me say QC? You're it's afraid to touch. Q Quality? Put the wings in. Put the wings in! Do it right now. Quality control issues aside, if he hadn't broken, I would get he still gets a four out of five. With that with that with that, you know. Again, like we always say, you don't know. Like your toy may prob may not break. We don't know. Right? It's DCL probably break. <laughs> but you, I mean, your toy might not break, and if your toy doesn't break, it's a four out of five toy to me. All right, I'm basing, I'm, I'm judging the toy line as a whole. So like this toy, every Blue Beetle, I'm going to go off of judging as if it was like this. Okay, well, that's fair. Okay, but if, but if you want to go and, on the other hand, I will grade it as if I were to just judge this one. I'll give this one a half a hammer huh. because he broke. But you're afraid that other pieces are going to break before he broke. Yeah. And you still give him a four? Uh-huh. Because he's, he's as fun as... I, I judge things he's, on... He's as fun as Mr. Miracle. But you literally are said you're afraid to touch him, to move him because you're afraid he's going to break. Not How all of it. I just said these parts, and then these. I said one, two, you have to three, be... four, five, six things you're afraid to touch. Eight things. I didn't say afraid to touch. I said they will break. I, did you not see me touch these throughout the whole review and move yeah. them around? Yeah. Yeah. But you're consciously thinking I have to be careful. Well, sure. You, you think that with threw, anything, don't you? You just threw a giant <laughs> fit because it's not. It's a toy, and you should be able to move it. But you have to constantly think. Well, you have to think that with anything. You have to think, oh, this won't move that way. Don't move it that way. It'll break. Right? Yes. That's been it for this episode of Shock and Nod Toy Reviews. Uh, let us know if you like this Blue Beetle. Uh, if, you know, if you, if you have him, great. If he broke, if he didn't, uh, which was the one that you like better? What? What Blue Beetle toy do you like better? The Mattel Blue Beetle. If you like that one better. Um, like, subscribe, comment below. We really appreciate you watching, everybody. Uh, if you want, you can follow me on Twitter at Scabs. You can follow me on Twitter at Racky Smasher. Um, take a night, Chris. <laughs> Good night, Chris. <laughs>